music distribution, everything you need to know. I'm Charles Klein, singer, songwriter, and producer, and I've been releasing music for a number of years now, so I'm quite familiar with music distribution and a variety of the different music distributors. I'm gonna go over three specific topics in this video. What music distribution is, who my favorite music distributors are, and then number three is what you might wanna look out for in a music distributor and some things you should think about. So number one, what is music distribution? Music distributors and music distribution, these are companies that take a song and will help you sell this song somewhere else in the world. So traditionally, music distributors would be big labels that would make CDs and help you sell those CDs or distribute those CDs in stores, for example. Modern day, you don't actually need a record label to distribute your music anymore. You can do it independently. If we make a song in this room today, we can use an independent music distributor and get our song on Spotify. So traditionally, you'd have to use a record label normally to get your music distributed. Now we can do this very, quick and easy and sometimes free using independent music distributors. So to recap, a music distributor is a middleman. You have yourself with a song, you go to a music distributor, and then this music distributor will take your song and then upload it to Spotify and Apple Music. Number two, what are some of the music distributors that are my favorites and ones that I use the most? To date, my favorite music distributors happen to be DistroKid and TuneCore. I choose DistroKid and TuneCore because both are flexible and easy cost-effective and they offer uh, extra services. So I'll break that down a little. DistroKid is the one that's super simple and easy to use and it's quite cheap. You can pay $20 a year and release unlimited songs. That's why I really like DistroKid. TuneCore is a bit more robust. It does happen to be a little bit more expensive depending if you release a lot of music or not, but they come with some extra cool features like TuneCore Publishing. If you know your music is going to be played at a global scale on different channels like different streaming services in the radio um, you know in bars and restaurants that kind of thing TuneCore publishing can help you collect those royalties so a great feature if you know your music is going to be played at that global scale the benefit to TuneCore and district as well as you get to keep 100 percent of your royalties so if you know you're going to get a lot of streams on your music then you're going to keep 100 percent of that revenue as opposed to some of the other services that they will take a percentage of your royalties but you don't have to pay for music distribution so there's two types of really plans or packages you can get with a music distributor you'll have some music distributors that you pay and then you get to keep 100% of your royalties but then there are some other music distributors that you don't have to pay at all they'll go and upload your song for free but then in return they're going to keep a percentage likely 15% of your streaming royalties so more on that in the next topic a couple other music distributors that are also good are Amuse that they do offer this free music distribution United Masters and CD Baby the latter one, CD Baby, has been around for almost the longest, so they have a lot of experience in the industry. Amuse and United Masters happen to be the newer kind of um, more hip music distributors, I guess you could say, because they're offering this free music distribution, and they're also really good with mobile. CD Baby, TuneCore, and DistroKid all are not great with a mobile device, and as we just move more to mobile and just using our phones more, I really hate the fact that those you know the former distributors there don't have great apps or like responsive sites at all compared to united masters which is almost all done on your phone and amuse which has a good mobile app as well let's get on to number three some things you should look out for and some things you should know with music distribution um, the first thing is all music distributors have lag time from the time you they can actually get your song up on the streaming services like Spotify, for example. So make sure that you upload your song to any of these music distributors at least four weeks in advance. When you do this as well, then you can guarantee that you can tell your audience when the song is going to be released and you can use things like the Spotify pitch tool where you can pitch Spotify editorial curators with your Spotify for Artists account. So there's two benefits of doing that pre-release upload. The second thing to really think about when you're looking at music distribution is how many songs are you gonna be uploading? If you wanna be uploading lots of songs, then you should think about using a distributor that supports releasing lots of music. So that would be something like DistroKid. Or are you looking at releasing a fewer number of songs, but you're looking to scale those songs out? Perhaps you wanna go with TuneCore instead. Or are you just first releasing music the first time in your life and you really only want it on Spotify and Apple Music? This is another question that you might be 
better using Amuse, for example, where they can give you free distribution because they're only going to release it on the top four music streaming services. The third thing to keep in mind when you're looking into music distribution is whether you want to pay for music distribution or have that free, and then in return, give some of your streaming royalties. At scale, this is when it really starts to matter. So if you're going, if you are planning to get millions of streams, it might be better to go with a paid music distributor because you'll be paying less because millions and millions of streams, the higher percentage of payout you're going to have to give to the distributor. So if you're only expecting maybe 10,000 or less in that 50,000 range of streams, you might want to look at this free distribution and give them a percentage of your royalties because 50,000 streams times of average payout about 0 0.06, that's 300 bucks. So you'll make $300 with 50,000 streams and then you have to give 15% of that away. So 0.15. So you have to pay $45 in distribution costs. If you released that single on TuneCore, that would have been about $10. So in this circumstance, you would have saved $10 if you went with a paid music distributor. In this case, you're paying the music distributor $45. But if you distribute it on DistroKit, for example, you would have paid them $20. So in this example, you're, I guess you're technically um, missing out on $25 if you went with the free music distribution. So you see what I mean? It's not that big of a, a huge difference when we're in this stream count. But if we're talking about millions of streams, this is where the big difference is. Like if you got a million streams, and these are just averages, keep in mind. So a million times an average of 0 0.006, 6,000 bucks. So 15% 15, 15 of that. So now you're paying your free music distributor, let's say Amuse or United Masters, for example, you're gonna pay them 900 bucks. If you went with DistroKid, you would only pay them 20 bucks still. So you're saving now $880. So the higher in streams, the more money you will save when you go with a paid music distributor. But when you're in that low stream count, and, you, and you're just starting out as an artist, maybe you just want to go with a free music distribution so you can save the distribution cost because it's so low. I'm a singer songwriter and producer myself. And I've been releasing music for a long time. So if you're creating music and trying to release that music, feel free to subscribe to this channel because really that's what this channel is all about. I'm passing on information that's helped me in the past that I think could be good for you. So I hope to see you in the next video.